Hey guys, if you're anything like me and you like to speed up your workflow, you gotta check out this new add-on called Wrap Master. Basically, it allows you to create chains, ropes, or bandages around objects and characters inside of Blender really quick. In the description below of this video, you're gonna find my affiliate link where you guys can go and grab this add-on for Blender. Now, since this is a procedural geometry node setup, you need to go to Edit, Preferences, make your way to the bottom where it says File, Paths, and go to Asset Libraries, and hit this plus sign here on the right. Now, just go to your directory where you stored the folder which encases the download. Go to Add Asset Library, and what I usually like to do after exiting out of this um, Preferences is divide my work view in half. So I'm gonna open up a new window, go to editor type and go to asset browser. Now what I can do is go to unassigned and basically use any of these four types of the um, wrap master and use it on my object or character. You just drag and drop it onto your object or character and voila, you now have it into your 3D scene. Now all you have to do is use the rotate tool to better orientate this to match the natural flow that you want to go for. And I'm going to be using this on the arm, so I'm just going to, uh, as best as I can, get this to line up with the natural flow of the arm's topology. So this may take a little bit of, you know, finessing, but once you get it, you're going to understand it and how it works. You could also press tab to go into edit mode to uh, upscale some of the vertices. And now that we have that done, now we can start playing with some of the parameters and attributes of this. So we can go to link spacing to adjust how close um, these links are to each other. You can change out the rotation. Uh, there's plenty of things in here you can play with. Uh, one thing I like to do is turn on the snapping and snap it to the geometry that I'm attaching this to so it has a better grasp around the object. And you can also do the same for the pinching as well. Uh, have a lot of fun with this, guys. Play with the length however long you want this to go. Um, you guys can drag the slider left and right. Um, you guys can play with the orientation. Just keep going back and forth till you get a result that you're you know, more than satisfied with. And if you have a little bit of uh, collision, just know that you can go to edit mode and kind of scale out the vertices and get a great result. And just keep going back and forth. And um, yeah, there you go. This is basically how to use this add-on for Blender. And if you guys like this, give the video a thumbs up, comment, and don't forget in the description below, go to that affiliate link and grab this add-on.